Ah, yes. Very good. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Jade Monkey. We are in Space Engineers, and if you didn't know by the title or if this is brand new to you, uh, Space Engineers is coming to PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5, and it's going to be this Thursday, which I believe is May 11th, if I'm not mistaken. Hopefully the uh, badge at the top there is not too large. Let me check on the uh, on the old preview. Hello, hi, welcome. So I sorry for the late start. We uh, you know had some things cooking here, so um, we're gonna try to do this for a hot second. Uh, you do know we like us some space engineers, and I think it's fantastic that it's coming out for everybody now. Basically, I mean I guess I guess the Nintendo Switch is out, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Hello. What's up, Fernando? What's up? So, bro, I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I know, it's a late one, right? It's super late. I apologize. Yeah, so mad exciting. And it looks like there'll be mouse and keyboard support made for the game. I know that PlayStation and Xbox both support the ability to have USB devices plugged into them. Uh, this game will allow such things. I'd kind of recommend it, although you can use it with a controller. So I'm using a mouse and keyboard right now. And it is going to be, let's see, what is this? Well, isn't that fancy? But we close that. There we go. Airlock. I get it now. So apparently this scenario, we're actually on a space station. Let me pull way back. We might restart this one. So this is the first time I'm here about this. I know, right? It says, I have school tomorrow. Ah. What's up? So Fernando says, buy $10. What does that mean? <gasps> what does that all mean? Oh, yes. If you are looking to buy it, um, we do have the uh, affiliate link that's happening up there at the top. It's also in the description. You can also type in exclamation point SE. And this is for everything. It's for the PlayStation pre-orders. It's for Xbox. It's for Play or, um, yeah, PlayStation. And it's for, like, PC stuff. So it'll um, if you're going to get it, you might as well use the link and support the channel. It's not like the price changes or anything. So there you go. Uh, this is just out of curiosity. Does this game have any similarities to R Rust? Well, this is like a survival game. You can have other people in there, but it's mostly working together. But you can um, you can make like giant like arenas, and people do that quite often. So I think that's pretty interesting. Nice. Michael says this is the first time I'm hearing about it. Ah, very good. Uh, Sin City says, another banger from Jane Monkey. What's up, baby? I know, sorry for the late start, guys. I just, I, because I knew this was on our radar screen about four or three months ago, and I was like, oh, sweet, and then, like, I kind of just checked in, I was like, oh, man, this is, like, it's coming. So the beta for PlayStation starts on the 11th, which is interesting, because I'm like, is this the preamble to the game coming out, or is Sony actually supporting beta-type games now, which would be really great. Either way you cut it, it's really awesome that it's coming out for PlayStation. Let me see how good or bad that is. Yeah, that's not too bad. You guys can still read all that, right? Yeah, so if you're going to buy it, just go ahead and use the link. It'll help support the channel. Uh, you know, I should probably put in the... Do it like this. It'll also be the pinned comment. As well. And it all goes through... Uh, Space Engineers, what is it? Keen Software? Is that what it is officially? Keen Software House. So yeah, this is what we'll be doing this evening. Says, bro, my... <laughs> bro, I played Rust too much. He says, my mind can only think Rust. He says, I love the new Jackie skin. It's nice, right? Space Engineers finally coming to PS5? Yes, this Thursday. And it's pretty much for everything now. We've got it for Steam. We got it for Xbox and PlayStation. So if you're thinking about buying it, you might as well, you might as well use the link. Yeah, might as well. What is all this stuff? 
Are those ships out there? What is that? I wonder what that is. How's the audio? Too loud? Good? About the same? So this scenario, so typically whenever you've seen us play this, like um, like on the Xbox or whatever, we started on the planet, and that's a fun scenario. But I thought we'd do this one, and it looks like we're maybe... We process materials, and this is our main ship. Uh, there's other ships around us. I believe we have drone control. Uh, so this looks like it'll be a fun scenario for us to play out. And then this just turns into, like, giant survival after that, so... It's kind of nice, because if you followed us last time when we were doing this... It took us a hot second to get up to this point, so it's actually pretty awesome that we're kind of like starting like this. So apparently pirates will also attack us as well. So we kind of have to just take an inventory as far as like what's going on around here and see what's what. Audio's good? Okay, thank you. What's this game about? Um, I guess you call this like a space Minecraft, but instead of like cubes, it's voxel based. Like that. So you can build all these different things here. Um, it's awesome. Like, if you like something like Minecraft, I think you will enjoy something like this. Ooh, we have iron over there. Sweet. All right, so we're just going to kind of take inventory as far as, like, what's going on here. Okay. So... I probably should have read this scenario log better, hey? <laughs> yeah, let's go back and do it. To the menu! I'm just mad excited that it's finally coming. So yeah, it should be on Thursday, May 11th for the PlayStation. Oh, I didn't read the... Oops, I'm... I meant to read the, uh, the initial text. Okay, so what is this? Pertam? I guess we don't have any text on this one. Okay. That's pretty cool. It says, what's the point of the game? It says, in terms of, uh, should we be doing? It says, what is your goal? Well, in this one, I think it's just to repair the station and then uh, ward off all the pirates. And then we can, we can, it's pretty much up to us at that point. It's a lot like Minecraft in that regard. Like, it's survival based. So, like, we need oxygen and whatnot. Is that a space turret? It is. What? They have those? Oh, uh, it's already out on Xbox. It's already out on Steam as well. So as many blocks like doors, buttons, panels, and console medical rooms, inventories, and cockpits support various different actions. F to activate the highlighted block. K to go to the menu of the highlighted block. Ooh, what is that? I kind of want to hang around and see what happens when the pirates come around. Restricted access. Oh, yeah? What's up? Burger says, you should have more subs, in my opinion. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Ooh, okay. So we have all the different suits and stuff. Yeah, last time we played this, we actually started on the surface, and we did make it to space in a very, very janky ship. Um, but that's the fun of the game, right? I just think it's kind of cool that we're starting like this. So I'm unfamiliar with this particular scenario. So that's why we're kind of walking around. Uh, there's actual, well, I guess you would call it a custom game. Uh, scenarios are actually that. Um, they have like objectives and whatnot. And those are actually, a, they are a blast. But I do like these where we kind of have like this, like, hey, here's a challenge. You know, survive on the surface and build up. Or it's like survive in space and then kind of branch off from there. So it looks like we have... Oh, okay. This is a giant block. So we get to build a bunch of different things here, too. This is a battery, maybe? Oh, that's a hydrogen tank, I believe. Okay, went to our inventory. We go I. Let's go ahead and just save it. And we'll call it... Um, Stream start. How about that? Oh, better yet. Let's call it PlayStation 4 stream start. <laughs> Even though technically we're not on PlayStation yet because it's not out yet. But I assure you, because we played this over on P... Uh, not PS4, but over on the Xbox. These games are... Um, 
virtually the same. Obviously, the PCU limit's much higher for uh, like next gens and stuff, and for PC, but um, it is the same game. So, I mean, I could even plug in a controller and get all the different prompts. Okay, so it looks like we have a main hanger here. How's your day going? It's going great. I mean, it's always great when we get a chance to, like, stream, and especially when we get to play games uh, like this. I'm so glad I checked, though. I was like, oh, what about, you know, Space Engineers? And then I was like, we got to take a look. And they're like, oh, yeah, Thursday. And it was like the beta comes out. I was like, you got to be kidding me. I kind of forgot about it for a second. Ooh, is this our nuclear reactor? I believe it is. Okay, so look at all the different things we have plugged in here. Oh, this is the gravity generator. My bad. Industrial station. Okay, so this is definitely what this does. This should be our inventory. This is our O2 generator. Okay, so, um, you know, oxygen isn't free up here, so we're definitely going to have to find an ice asteroid somewhere out here. And we're going to have to... Ooh, what's this? We're going to have to harvest. I think this is ice right here. It is. Perfect. Yeah, because we won't be able to breathe unless we have ice. And then it looks like we have ourselves a vessel down here. Maybe a miner? A transport? Not really sure. Again, we're kind of just assessing what's going on. Maybe this is our attack vehicle when the pirates come. I'm trying to see if there's any weapons on board. And it's cool. So, like, you can actually build these bad boys up and then stick engines on there. And based off of how good or bad you place them... Uh, you can definitely eat it. What's really cool, um, more high-level stuff, is where people will build a bunch of spacecraft and creative, and then they'll have, like, different rounds and attack each other. I think that's a ton of fun. We'll definitely be doing stuff like that as well. Oh, my dampeners are off. There's no gravity here. Oh, wait, there we go. We got the mag boots. So it looks like this is processing, maybe? Oh, this is huge, man. All right, so it looks like it's docking to this asteroid. You have to do testing on Tuesday? Okay. Like school testing? Or is this the gravity generator? That might be the gravity generator. Ah, here we go. I'm a little scared. Oh, this is just like a giant. Okay. So this is the giant control center for what? I'm not sure. Oh, here we go. Here's some O2. Med kits. Beautiful. Which this one right here? Landing platform. Hello. Yeah, what a cool way to start the scenario. Because, like, you have scarcity on the ground, but you have scarcity up here, but it's completely different. Okay, this is the survival kit, probably to recharge our kit. Oh, no. Is this an escape pod? Did I just... <laughs> Dude, where are we going? What just happened? What did I do? This is crazy, dude. Cameras? View? Where is it taking us? What's happening? What? We might have to load that up. What's up, Odin? 
This is the other way you just launched yourself. I mean, that's kind of awesome. It is. It's an escape pod. Get out of here. Oh, that's so cool. All right, we're going to have to load that again, boys. I messed up. I was like, let me hit the red button. Let's see what happens. Nice. Uh, Burger says, uh, school testing. Bo. Oh. Uh, it says, when does it come out on Xbox? I think we already answered that one. I'm assuming it'll be a 20 or $40 game. You know what? Oh, that's a good question. Hang on, let me, let me just bust out the link and find out. So basically, anything that you would buy whether it's the DLC, the game, on anything, my affiliate link will help support the channel. My ch oh, <coughs> excuse me, my channel. So now that I put that in there, let me see. Let me just click out and find out what the prices are, because I'm not sure. Um, looks like there's the Ultimate Edition that's sixty nine ninety nine USD. There's the vanilla game that's twenty dollars USD. Looks like the Automations pack is four dollars ninety nine. Looks like all the packs are like four ninety nine. And this again, you can pre order now for the PlayStation. You can buy it now and play it for the Xbox, and you can buy it now and play it for let me just double check. Yep. So for PC, Xbox, and then PlayStation pre order. And I think I'm not sure what is the uh let me just go ahead and check the PlayStation part of this. Yeah, it looks like it's twenty bucks for PlayStation. Uh for the vanilla game. And then I'm checking the information for Let me see what the pre-order says here. Oh, I got to sign in. But yeah, it's for all uh, all platforms. So yeah, it's like 20 bucks or the ultimate edition if you want to get all the packs, which is cool. If you like this game, you know. It's pretty dope. Oh, it says read the buttons before pressing them. No, that's the fun of it. How cool is that? It says, in zero gravity, your magnetic boots to walk to any surface. With your feet turned down, you can turn on the jetpack to automatically lock to the magnetic boots or surface. Got it. Man, I'm good. This is a big boy right here. This is do not jump. Don't tell me what to do. I'll be honest. I don't even know where to enter this bad boy. Those landing pads are huge. Oh, here we go. That's fancy. Now we're talking. We'll take a guess what this does. Oh, what a cool preset for like a survival start. Oh man. I know I keep saying it, but that's tight. So yes, you can build all of this stuff on your world, either on the surface, in space. I love it. Okay, we got a box here. Looks like more med kits. I have a feeling we're going to get attacked. Am I right, Mr. Odin? I should probably find a weapon. I feel like my mouse sensitivity is a little high. Yeah, that's the other thing, too. If you're going to be doing this over on uh, PlayStation or even Xbox, I would suggest turning down that mouse sensitivity just as gaunch. Unless you like Turbo. Is this single player only? Uh, no, it's also multiplayer if you want it to be. Pretty nice. Ah, 
Ah, perfect. I forgot how to set up all my stuff here. So isn't it like... Ah, there we go. Right? And then it's character weapons, and then you drag that down. Right, 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 right. Yeah, I always found the inventory system to be a little weird. That's just me. What's this one? Oh, okay, different pistols. Okay, gotcha. Lured it up. Extra tank to take with us. Go back to the first one. I'm feeling that we should probably get some... Materials? Yes? Alright, Burger says I gotta go for an hour. Okay. The LSU set. Oh. Nightbot's telling me what's up. Hold on. Nightbot. Dude, I love these type of games. Love it. Yeah, I'm trying to set my, uh, if you want this timer to call a command, nope. All right, that should be good. Nice. Odin says, I haven't played this one, so you're on your own. Perfect. All right, so I'm trying to find a good place for inventory management. All right, so this is one of our big vessels. We're trying to see what we have on board here. I guess we can hit this and just see what's connected. So we have tensor, uh, tensor. We have a sensor. We have a parachute hatch. <gasps> Does that mean this goes on the surface? How dope is that? So are we going to have to go back down to the surface? <gasps> yes. All right, we also have to see what we're lacking. I mean, yes, right? I mean, this one would be going all the way back down. Let's just, what do you say we just take this down to the surface? I like that idea. Boats? Power up. Just want to see what's possible. What? Oh my goodness, how loud is that? Whew, that was so loud. <laughs> All right, so we have maximum trajectory. It looks like we're approaching the planet. If we mess up real bad, we can always load it again. <laughs> I do like all the windows. Space turret. Yeah, see, this way we can do some experimentation. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I thought that was a lot closer than what we were. I mean, how cool is that, right? We get to, like, just zoom right in. Excellent. Dampeners off. How close are we now? Yeah, I turned off the dampeners because apparently that should give us some more uh, power. 
So we have med packs. Yeah, so I guess we gotta go to the surface and maybe collect some stuff. What's on the rover again? I don't even look. Is it connected? Oh, sweet. They have, like, plates for these now? Heck yeah. I mean, how cool is that, right? We've got a rover on a ship. The ship is barreling towards the planet. And this is all stuff we can destroy, we can build, and this is for Xbox, PlayStation, and PC. How cool is that? We're barreling towards the planet. I think we'll find resources there. Ooh, man, it's getting quite large in the window. Maybe we should go steer the boat. Maybe before we, uh, you know, touch down on the surface. Right, it's gonna get loud. thousand meters we're gonna hit some here's the thing there is atmosphere on the planets I'm not sure what this one is maybe we should save it the more I keep talking about this the more I'm like maybe we should you know we'll call this one planet cuz you're running out of memory what and we save. What? Should I check the, um, hold on. Task manager time. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Coming in awfully fast. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, how incredibly loud is that? gonna try and get some ice in those hills I'll tell you what is that better wow I felt so loud this is why does it take so long to fly the planet because it's so far away it's actually pretty fast considering We got a lot of weight. How heavy are we? Ooh, what's this? We got something on the old meter. Oh, nice. Friendly signal. What's this? Exploration drone. Oh, nice, dude. Just 
just want to make sure we're not going like wicked fast. Oh, this is cool. What else we got on the surface here? Oh, what? This is dope. It's like a research facility. What is all this? Uh, running out of memory or problems writing the files says, uh, working on this world any longer may result in blah, 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 whatever. Interesting. I mean, I guess that's the landing pad, eh? Says, can you get faster ships? Um, yeah, you can make faster stuff, but you all you always have to like manage like what the fuel costs are, fill it up. Um, the mass is it going to be a big deal? Let's go park this bad boy. I'm scared. I don't want to damage this because we need this. I would take it that's the hydrogen tank on the back, I'm guessing. Is there a place we can retract that ramp, maybe? That's how you do it. Okay. Unable to park. Where we need to go again? What's going on? Parking engaged. Excellent. Okay, let's see if we can actually take the rover off, eh? It uh, says, is space engineers on PC the same for console? It is. Bruce, it is. Now, the PCU limit will be uh, a thing depending on what type of system you're on. So obviously, if you're on a core system, uh, PCU refers to like the amount or like the budget of items that can be on the map at one time. Uh, we played this on the core system when it came out for Xbox, so you can definitely still do uh, space engineer stuff. Now, if you have a next gen like a PS5, like a Series X, it's definitely a lot more. to open the Oh, because I shut off the... All right. I forgot. We have to manage all the systems and stuff. But okay. Okay, turn the power back on. Yeah, hey, whoops. Okay, let's pull back here and see what else we have. All right, magnet plate. There we go. It's getting dark. Uh, 
Ah, uh, yes. That's what I'm talking about. What are these? A? Hang on, let's see if we have enough space. I think we do. I don't know, maybe we don't. No, we should. Might be the memory situation for whatever. Hey, let me double check options here. Ah, uh, yeah. Plus display, yes. Recommended aspect ratio. It's very weird, have not seen that. Oh, look at that. Man, how cool is that, right? Great shot. Ah. Uh -huh. Wow. Yeah, we're going to be playing this map, I can tell you that much. We'll have to figure out what's going on with that save. Oh, those are the beds you sleep in, like the cryo chambers. Okay. Space poop. That's a battery. Okay. Love it. Solar panels. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, cargo container, show connected items, armory lockers, what else do we have? Lockers, small, small cargo, production, factions, GPS, it's all coming back to me now. So it looks like we have some build materials, that's good. Is this like a hydrogen tank too? Ooh, baby. Probably. Oh, there we go. Ice. Perfect. So we can get O2 out of here. Beautiful. Industrial hydrogen tank. I love this. Dude, look at this. This is like a little processing unit for all this. Yeah, boy. You can charge on that little dock right there. Small cargo container. Industrial hydrogen tank. Space to break, P for parking, Y to turn things off. Yep, that's the same as anything else. Ooh. Now can I stick stuff in this container? Wait a second, what is that doing in there? What do we have connected? Medium cargo, H2 generator. Medium cockpit. Just taking all this stuff out of here. Part of me wants to take some of the ice upstairs, like a tea bag. My bad person. Yes. Oh my goodness, breaking is something else.
Look at that. Closing the hatch. Let's go. Love it. Now where to? This does this have ice on board? I wonder if it does. This is wicked. Alright, let's see if we can leave Atmo. I'm I'm curious. Alright, so we're gonna turn off dampeners. Yeah, boy. What's that beacon? Hold on. Distracted. What is this? It is wicked. I have not played this scenario at all, or this particular survival map. It's crazy. What the heck is this? What is this? Yeah, I should be marking these. What is this? Oh, it's like a safe zone, right? Oh. This is cool, man. It's gotta be some sort of safe zone, right?
Check the log file to find out what caused this error. Okay. I might. She is still awfully heavy. We're at 288,000 kilos. She's kind of heavy. Are we too big for the pad? Fine. We are a thick boy, that's for sure. It's so cool that we had the hydrogen engine. I like it. Nice and slow. Let's go. Okay, it's where we can't park. Let's keep walking around. Let's see what's up. Oh, I know. Wasn't there like, is it not F1? It's F2, 3. There's like a log window. Whoopsie. Don't quick load. Please no. Is this it? No. Oh, dude, where am I? Where? What happened? What did I do? Dude, no. What's happening? <laughs> oh, no. Thank goodness. Okay, that was like a debug camera or something? Oof. Doesn't like us parking here, man. Ooh, we can buy things. Hello. Man, are these all over the place now? Man, they've made so many advancements in the last time I played. Ooh, contracts. Ooh, girl. Search and contact, or search contract, I can't read. Dude, that's dope. Taking this guy's ammo, because I'm a good guy. Got plants on the inside. So we just go down here and start looting stuff? That's what I'm talking about. There has to be a place we can like stick stuff. I don't know where the cargo container's at still. So I guess we can put some of our bullets away, right? For now. Hydrogen tank. That's so cool, it's on the side. 
Since failed to say that this can be caused by running out of memory or problems when writing files. This is work. Working on this world any longer may result in loss of progress. This is check. You can check the log file to find out more of what caused this error. Yeah, this makes me a little nervous to keep playing on this one then. Especially since it can't save. There has to be some sort of cargo access container somewhere down here, right? Has to be. You're like, oh, that's not what this ship does. Boo. Oh, you know what? We could just check the list. Battery bed. A sensor, container, large, industrial, connector. I don't think so. I think it's mostly this vessel. This might be for just like exploring and stuff, A. Eh? Well now I have a bunch of stuff on me. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that no save thing is uh kinda got me freaked out. Is that my pubes hitting the microphone? Wonderful. Huh. Hold on. One sec. I want to make sure we can actually save this, so give me uno momentos. It's interesting that we ran out of memory, eh? Okay, back's closed. Let's just try to fly up and see what happens. We'll go back to the main area and see if we can't save ourselves. If not, we'll try to see what's going on with the whole uh, memory thing, because, I mean, it won't make any sense if we can't save it, now will it? Still getting lost back here. Uh... You can stick stuff in there. I knew it.
That looks crazy. H2O, we're down to, we used a quarter of a tank. I mean, we were slamming the gas there for a second. So I wonder what kind of engines we're actually using for this. You know what we didn't set while we did all this stuff? This is another reason why we're flying up here. Yeah, so in space, you don't have that resistance, right? I feel like I'm talking over the the engines the whole time. Yeah, we didn't mark any of those locations, so we could definitely be in trouble here. Uh, what's the GPS thing again? I forget. I, yeah. Is it five? No. Is it four? No. Nope. Is it three? Uh, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh no! How do we get back? Oh, I did it again. There we go, I'm back. Woo! He said, sure. What? What does it all mean? All right, so we're going to try to get up here and see what we can find. It'd be a miracle if we actually fly back to the spot we need. We should have been marking all this stuff on the GPS. I have not been. Yeah, that's what I should have been doing. Yeah, so to even run this thing, we're going to need hydrogen and stuff. But first, got to figure out what's going on with the save file. So we can't save right now? That's what's going on? Interesting. Hold on, let me just find out real quick what's going on here. Huh. It's like, did we restart it or something? Let's try that. Prefacer screen. Uno momentos. Sorry about that. Space engineers. I mean, we'll try another scenario if we can actually can't load that one up, so... Oh, is it say it's already running? What's going on here? Yeah, maybe we did. We broke something. Oh.
Sorry, give me just one second. There it goes. Open World Sandbox Survival. Continue your last game. Learn to Survive, uh, which is a non-linear storytelling gameplay that's defined by goals and objectives that you pick. Lost Colony. We could try some of these other ones. Hang on, let me make sure we're back on here so you guys can actually see what's going on. I apologize. Yeah, because I definitely don't want to play that scenario if it's not going to uh, save. I want to play that scenario badly. All objects that leave this area will be removed from the game. Characters leaving this area will be killed. Oh. View distance cooldowns. Day duration is two hours. Ship max size disabled. Oh. You guys want to explore some more of these? Or you guys want to see like a scenario? This contact has been lost with a remote colony, and it's your job to find out what happened. With up to four players, embark on an exciting journey through caves and mysterious underground bunkers while exploring the valley and its history via data pads left behind by the colonists. I kind of would just load this up to see what's what. Moon base, survival, like it. Let's go. Ah. Objectives. Operation priority. Defend against pirates. Expand base facilities. Ensure that you have enough solar panels to, buy to provide your ships with energy. That seemed to work. Maybe that board's uh, glitched out or something. Okay, it doesn't look like we have an airlock on this one, so we have to expand. A... Eh? Cryo chamber for charging. So what's our power levels looking like? Let's take a look, shall we? Distance, show range, lights. Oh. Oh, it's glass. Hey, I'm trying to walk through it like an idiot. Okay, so oxygen and stuff. This is our moon base. Ooh, we got a beacon over here looking good. How do we close this? Oh, right here. Yeah. Very good. Alright, there's a bunch of verbiage over here. Let's go ahead and check this out. Ooh, we got a recycler. This is probably for the pirates, eh? Oh, it's a weld pit. Never mind. Yep, it looked like a recycler. Sorry, I've been playing too much rust. You can repair your flying vehicles by using the welding pit. Oh, dude, what is this? Oh, the refinery with the modules on top. Okay, okay. Process your ores and produce components for construction and assemble munitions for base defense. Ooh. Drop racks into the pit to recover valuable components. 
Ooh, baby. Should probably take another flame tank so we can scoot around a little bit. And then let's go ahead and set up a good... There you go, character weapons. Let's go. A basic weapon to protect yourself requires a small caliber munitions. Okay, so um, before I forget, we need to mark home base. So GPS, we'll call this one... You from current position, we'll call this one home base. Moon base? Sounds good. Moon base. So we don't lose it. So we need solar power. It says use this standard issue drill ship to conduct mining operations. Oh. Oh. Dude, look at the background here. <laughs> it's so awesome. So what's the first thing you're going to do when you actually load this bad boy up on your console, whether it be on Xbox or PlayStation? Uh, I think the moon missions are quite fantastic. I mean, look at the view out here. you got to be kidding me. And yes, you can go everywhere, and you can build. It's very wild. I love it. All right, let's take a look. I'm interested to see. Hopefully this doesn't crash out on us like the last one. Okay, so I guess we'll just, uh, oops, sorry. All right, so this is our mining vessel. It looks pretty good. Okay, it looks like we have hydrogen on the back of here, maybe? Okay. Okay, remind me, chat. We gotta do, uh, be marking all locations. It's like a big part of this. Oh, yes, we must undock, which would be five. Right, or no? Uh, uh, oh, the engines. Ooh, antenna ore detector. Let's go. So we have 21 minutes of battery. We have O2, so it looks like we're going to need to find some... If you didn't know, obviously finding water, ice in this game, is a big deal. Ice runs everything, oxygen, fuel. So we're going to need to find some ice right away. Dude, look at all these controls. That's so cool that you can use like the outlook to, to skibby around here. You can even turn off the overlay and just kind of look. These cockpits are so much fun. Cockpits. It shows you like your surface level, your meters per second. You can RP all day. Alright, we gotta be careful because this, this bad boy is heavy enough that she's gonna be a problem we don't actually find what's going on. 
Okay, so we have the beacon is on, the antenna is off, so we can turn on the antenna, maybe? I'm just trying to see what's on and off on our toolbar at the bottom. Neutral signals. I don't know what that means. We don't have any weapons. I'll have to either fly back or... Oh, what's this? And the reason why we have different things off, it kind of saves on power. And you can ore detect if you've got your... Uh, oopsie. Is anything else off? Okay, antenna. Okay, they're on. Oh, platinum, hello. What's platinum on the table of elements? Does anybody know? All right, let's drill them out. All right, so the best idea is probably to shave away the outer edges because any time you strike anything in this game, it will do damage to the structure and you'll have to repair it or it will absolutely just damage it to the point where you can't use it. So you have to be very careful. Nice and easy when you're mining. Sometimes it's about spinning around a bit, backing off a little bit, but always check your weight but also your surroundings. So hitting the uh, the external cameras can be quite useful. But you can see, already see how I'm too wide to fit in the hole we're gonna make, so we're gonna have to kind of strafe left and right. Some, mi some mining tips, you know what I'm saying? It's not a bad idea to stick all your different items on your toolbar as well. Okay. I just want to check my weight here. Uh, we forgot to check it before we started. So I'm looking at 41,900. I see how she flies with it. We are on the moon, so things are a bit easier here. There's just a little bit of gravity. Just making sure I still am responsive. And that's the cool thing about this game is you start to like build more things. Um, you're like, hey, what's like the maximum limit? What can I? How can I fly? Once I get a lot of speed going and I have a lot of mass, can I stop the vehicle? All right, this is all cute, but we're definitely gonna need to find ice. So we'll fly low because the heads for the mining should give us a nice idea of what is downstairs, but we got to get closer to the surface. I'm a big fan of using the outlook on the external camera. You can already see, look at all these different jets and stuff. So when you're constructing a ship, a big thing is, you know, make sure you have enough thrusters in different directions, because if you don't, or they get damaged, you're in trouble. What's this all about? We have a red beacon out there, too. Yeah, this can be a very dangerous position to be mining from, too. Straight down. minus I mean I guess I'll get those materials while we're out so we, at least we got something for the run but I was hoping we'd find some ice ice what's up press says time for rest my boy oh don't you worry Watch, we're going to get attacked by 
Hostiles. Yeah, we'll farm a little bit and then we'll use that beacon. This is Elite Dangerous mixed with No Man's Sky. Kind of. Um, this is definitely like a Minecraft-y type game. Um, it uses voxels as opposed to like blocks. But there are building blocks here for sure. But you can do like different things. Like this whole thing I'm flying around is, a, is something you can build. Modify, change, damage, repair. Oh man. The, okay, I thought that was a beacon. That was the engines I shut off. Yikes. Uh. Okay, let's turn it on. Let's go. So what I ended up doing was on the toolbar there's like a there's a spot here where you can just turn on the drill, but you can also just manually use the drill. You can use primary and secondary. Secondary is gonna destroy everything and not harvest, which is kinda what you want because it's gonna make a giant hole. And then when you use your primary attack or your primary mouse button or whatever controller configuration there is, uh then you can actually mine the nickel. But since we're fifteen meters away, I'm just kinda boring a large hole. But I have to make sure I have enough clearance. But what I should be doing right now... Whoops, got to turn on my... I got to get rid of some of the stone. Oh, there's uranium in there? Get out of here. This thing has uranium? <laughs> Shut up. That's crazy. why having an ejector is where it's at. Alright, that should give us some more weight. It has uranium. That's wild, dog. Did not know we had such a robust... So anyways, this nickel is going to help us do like construction. There we go. It's starting to open up now. I can see it.
It's so nice to be on the moon and not have to worry about gravity too much. So I'm using that secondary attack to clear out the area so we have places to move. And we're going to go straight in on this. What's up, Strope? He says, I just joined the stream. Could you give us an outline of the game, etc.? Certainly. So, uh, this is like an open world building survival type game. Yes, there's PvP if you want there to be, but it's mostly like you can either do it solo or you can do co-op. But I've seen people set up things where they build ships and then they attack each other. Uh, that can definitely be a thing. There can be servers where people have like different factions and stuff if you want to run it that way. Um, so it's kind of like Minecraft, or like a space Minecraft, as it were. Sometimes you can run scenarios if you want to. Other times you can just do creative sandbox or just sandbox survival. It's entirely up to you. So our objective here is we're going to have pirates attacking us. So we're going to need to get materials and stuff. So uh, part of the survival part of this is we need to make sure we have water and power for all these different uh, items. We're going to need to make bullets as well. So we're kind of mining up some stuff so we can uh, defend ourselves. Pirates are coming. I'm used to doing this on a planet surface, so this, <laughs> this feels way better. Because you use so much fuel, because as soon as you start loading it up, you got to then like jet it around, and it gets super expensive. Yeah, I can feel the weight now. It's definitely flying different. as we're flying, we can switch cameras and then you can see the planet behind us. We can go to all those places, build there, farm there. We can mine the whole planet if we want to. I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, that would take you a lifetime. Probably multiple lifetimes, but you can do it. Yes, up. You completely lost interest in after you saw flying people, he says I'm all good. I uh, usually run playing on PC, flying hacks don't exist on. Uh I mean there might have been of an exploit on Rust Console Edition, but as far as I know I haven't heard of any flying exploit. There's the moon base. We must protect it at all costs. We must make the weapons to protect ourselves. Take the mission. I don't know when the pirates are going to attack, but I'm a little scared. Uh, once we can find them, I think we can throw them in those little areas downstairs. And again, this is all crafted. Uh, we can modify this any way we want. And then I think even after the scenario is over, or the scenario just keeps playing, I think we can just keep going after that. So this is definitely in survival mode. Sometimes it's fun to like do the scenario and then just keep playing. Yeah, I'm definitely super heavy. See, I'm having such a hard time. Like, i got to be careful I don't slap the deck and like do damage.
engines off. Okay, we're locked in. Good. All right, a ship should be charging off of the uh, supplies we have on base. Let's just go see if what this other vessel is all about. It might be for doing like recon and stuff. So everything's all interconnected here. Nice. This is the Gatling gun. Beautiful. I'll be honest, I haven't had a chance to really use these. Oh, this is our attacker. Oh, our defense. Sorry. Nice. Just lets all the air out. Oh yeah, we can change our stuff. Let's do it. Container assembler. Let's get in here and see what kind of uh, see what kind of bullets we need for this. Okay, systems. <sighs> Fighter, Gatling gun, convey our system. Small thrusters. Man, this thing's all thrusters. Landing gear, ion thrusters, uh, gyroscope, connector. <laughs> yeah, let's just see if we can fire it, right? Where does it show the ammo, dog? I like the clock, that's a nice touch. Well, we gotta run to this whenever we have a fight. He's talking about how we needed more power as well. So I guess we'll check the power levels and see if we need to build more solar panels. Pretty sweet. So this game is just uh, the ship flying? Nope. Nah, it's all kinds of stuff. You do building and all kinds of goodies. Okay, let's hit the lock, which is five, and then break parking, and then kill the no engine. Fuel. No fuel, eh?
Maximum wattage stored power. Fully depleted in one day. Yes, we definitely need more of this. Okay, so blocks, power blocks, there we go. Uh, wind's not gonna work up here, is it? Nope. Um, the way it does batteries, uh, where does it store it? Ay -ay 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 -ay. Oh, do we need to do progression? I don't think so, do we? Or do we? Oh, this is a hangar door. Oh, girl. Let's go check that out. Yeah, what can we jam in here? Ooh. Ooh. What's in there? What is that? Gatling gun turret. Okay. This is what we need. Ammo box. Hangar door is front. Say what? Oh, that's cool. We can do it from either side. That's cool. Dude, I'd love to do this scenario and then just keep building off of this. So what do we need for this? Lots of stuff. Bulletproof glass, solar cells, computer, girders. Roger that. Ouch. What do we need for the Gatling gun stuff? Alright, so let's go inside and see where all of our construction stuff is at here. Can we do production from here? Kind of. Assembler 4. Whoa. Hydrogen tank? Ice processing. If in a non-habitable world, this facility will allow you to provide breathable air and create hydrogen fuel. Beautiful. So, ice production, eh? Cargo container one. Small blocks. Ah, yes. Here we go. Gatling ammo is going to take nickel, magnesium, and iron. Magnesium powder. I believe that comes from stone. Don't we have a refinery up on this B? Expand base facilities. Ensure you have enough solar panels to provide ships with energy. Man, I look dope. Oh, that goes outside. Uh, 
Okay, so where is the assembler? Anywhere? Anywhere? We're going to have to wait for our first attack. Oh, look at this. Expansion port. There's a refinery. Right? Wow, dude, this thing's all jacked up. That's cool. It takes you so long to get all that stuff on the front side, or front half of the game, so I'm like, I'm glad it's already in there. Excellent. I'm just making sure I know where all the stuff's going here, and like, since we didn't build this ship, I'm kind of playing catch up. Okay, interior ship control panel. Okay. Okay, Let's see if we can get the magnesium off of just grinding up the stone. I think we can. Maybe not. I th now that I think about it, maybe not. But hey, well at least we'll throw some stone in there. I just want to make sure all this is working the way it's supposed to. It says, hey there. It says, how you doing? It says, how do you like this game so far? Oh, I love this game. Yes, add to the facility. Oh my goodness. Lots of weight. Uh. Wow, yeah, okay. So when we're around 60-ish thousand, this thing gets pretty unruly. I mean, I did just pick up a bunch of rocks. Ready to go. Hiya. No fuel. Eight hours on that? What? Ready to go, on, off, unlocked, ready to go. 
It's still super heavy, right? Uh. Oh man, okay, this is like everything we need to make. Okay. I forget how to do the smaller stuff. Is it like control? There you go, it's control. Computer. I'm a computer. I think it's some of these, and then let's see, what else do we need here? Uh, da 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 da. Construction components and girder. Solar cell girder. Check. Okay. There's got to be another place we can access the point. Inside of the, uh, uh, vessel. Maybe not. Oh, yeah, right here. Really? It doesn't let us get to the giant container? Shut up. So, gravel. Looks like the stuff we made at the refinery does not make magnesium, so we're going to have to find that on our own. Yay. What was it? It was, um... Uh-oh. Girders? Our precious oxygen is just going outside. Oh, construction components. Why do I always forget that? I think it's that mono color. It really throws me off. Doesn't take much. No, does that. I'll just leave it open. We're men. Almost functional. We got this. Ah, uh, solar cells. Boo! Should have checked to see how much we had beforehand. 
Where is this thing at? It's like halfway down? There it is. Really, we need a ship to do the construction and make our life so much easier. Okay. Wait a second. Why are these red? I'm curious. Solar panels. We just added them. Where are you at? Uh, block group. Share with all. Eighteen. Is that why? Haha. <laughs> it's gonna be. Nope. Why is it doing that? Okay. Solar panels. First colonist dead. <laughs> What does that even mean? I don't know why it doesn't want to take that. That's very bizarre. Unless I had to have it on a... Um, Oh, are they connected off of that? This is too far out? Is that what's going on here? Can't be. It's connected to the grid, man. It's connected to the grid. Oh, jeez. The solar panels I put on are trash. <laughs> Why? Why must they do this? Batteries on discharge mode? Say what? I can't remember what block controls this for the solar panels. It's like eluding me. Anyways, let's go find some more trash. Yeah, what do you say we go over by the red dot and check it out? I kind of want to see. Or handling facility? Let's go wreck that place. I'm down. Oh, jeez. Gatling gun ammo. Is that what this takes? Oh my goodness, Stamper's... Uh. So I'm confused. Where do we stick the stuff? The bullets. Where do bullets go? Gatling gun. Hey there. Production. Gatling gun. Consumables. So, magnesium powder. Make as much as you can. Gatling gun. Oh, that must be on the vessel itself, right? Is that what that means? can't remember how all this piping system works. A. 
So if we made the Gatling gun stuff, where is that actually sitting? Small cargo container. That is... Oh, it's just all like stay in there. Uh, okay. Check. Okay. There you go. Large container. Oh, we need that on the production side. What am I doing? Perfect. My account balance is 10,000 SC. Cute. Slow this B up. Energy low. There we go, now we're talking. My energy going up slowly? Yes it is. Perfect, I wanna go rip some cheeks. Is that weird? Hey, I'm gonna grab a little snacky poo. Then we're gonna go crush that place. We're going to dominate it. Hey there. Here, yeah, real quick. I'm muted. I say we make a run over there and see what happens. I'm so confused as to why that doesn't work. Lock is on. Feared. 
Maybe we gotta do it through the control panel. Who knows? Okay, let's go there and check it out. See what we can find. Uh, is there an engine button for this, or are they already on? Uh, da da da. Oh, we're locked. Okay. Uh, parking brake? There we go. So, yes. Even. Oh. So, in Space Engineers, yes, you can fly around a fighter if you want to build it. Steal it, scrap it. We're gonna head over to our enemy's facility and see what we can do out here. Ooh, this one's fast, baby. There it is. Hold on. Feel like we should save it, right? <laughs> Let's go. Oh, we're not doing well. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. We're taking damage. We're taking damage. What? It's going down. The ship's going down. That's awesome. Dude, that's awesome. Let's do it again. That's so dope. I forgot the PDCs were like just ripping us hard. Let's try it again. Okay. We're going to try to buzz this place one more time. Coming in. Fast and low. Oh, I'm losing control.
Oh, jeez, you're getting ripped. We're on board. Oh, jeez. I got smoked. <laughs> Again. That was not hot. Dude, that first one was so gangster, though. Don't you think? We just got shredded. I love it. Oh, cool. Is this where? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. <laughs> I love it, yes. Alright, so I'm not too sure how to do this part. An advanced version of the rocket launcher capable of co uh, of using the conveyor system to automatically reload using rockets. Oh, baby. Eight hundred meters. Let's go, boys. Rocket flyby. Here we go. I got no control. Again, again. <laughs> so the question is, do we come in? I do like the rockets. That's kind of hot. I want to get the fighter away from there because I think we can shrek that thing. What do we think? Camera mode. Fast loading. Yeah, perfect. We'll stay low like this. Yes. The PDCs on the base are pretty rough. I got it. <coughs> Took some damage. I have no control. Bah. Oh, jeez. That was dope. Again. <laughs> again, again.
This thing's kind of heavy, man. Those rocket pods on the side are a little mean. Jeez. <laughs> okay, I think I know what we need to hit now. <laughs> Again. That's pretty dope, eh? Okay. The little drone dudes. Oh, nice. Okay, I can actually zoom in. Tight. Alright, here's one. Hey, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. We're going to storm it.
That's what I'm talking about. I'm out of range, that's what's going on. And go down. I think we got it all. Oh no! That's awesome. And that's all. Oh, I hit the wall. I messed up. Alright, let's do that again. I messed that up pretty bad. Dude, that's so dope. That was hot. All right, now that we know how to use all the zoom stuff. Yeah, I love it, man. No limits. Okay. Can move a little closer. We'll just hit stuff from range because we're tea bags. All right, first let's get the base. Let's use our camera. Let's zoom. Whoop! Let's zoom in. We're close enough to hit the bottom piece here, which is a rocket launcher. Just lighting it up. I love it. Yes. Good. Okay. Neutralized. Look at this little cutie. Goodbye. Perfect. Alright, I think it's got his little boyfriend over here on the hill. Maybe be careful. Oh, it's up in the air. Look at this. Look cute. Oops. This little cutie just flying right up. Hey, buddy. Rocket acquisition. We're going to salvage all of that junk. Let's go. Beep. Totally roasted. Hot. Okay, so there is a weapon on the other side. It appears to be a Gatling gun. Hope we don't hit anything on the side here. We're trying to maintain. We're at 600 meters. Whoops, didn't mean to jump out of my vessel. <laughs> Oops. I should do it. Eh. 
Enter the base. I think we're clear. We'll find out. Gold, eh? Nice. Can't wait to chew this thing up. So it was like uranium drone? What? Access tonight, eh? Not for long. I love scrap. Inventory full. Sorry, we should put some more stuff on there. Yeah, I got a little bit of power, so let's get up here. Ooh, I cut that thing up. Oh! Your health is low. Is that what got me? <laughs> that was still alive. That's crazy. I like it. Hold on, I gotta make sure my preview window's up so I can see. There we go, I had to load up YouTube again. So that one ship, that one drone is still like busted up. That's so cool. I want to start cutting into there. stuff inside the base too. That's hot. So they don't like us very much. I'm getting that impression. Should we have not attacked them? Too late. Here, let's turn off the old chat window thingy. It's super annoying. Game. There we go. Is that better? Please, goodbye, go away.
Uranium spillage. You gotta love it. Dude, we shrecked it. I'm gonna go store my loot. This is a bossy ship. I think it's because it's got all the armor. for a second. You know what? Can't we just make a... I mean, probably not. It's probably going to be stupid heavy. Can we make something small out of this? <laughs> Cargo container. There we go. Something small. I think that's going to be what we want, but you know what? Let's go ahead and finish that off. Hey, yeah. I mean, it's functional. There we go. Small cargo container. 125. Late is. Late is. It's uh, not very much, is it?
Let's go pick up more salvage. Ooh, sun's coming up. Solar panels I installed, they actually going green yet? Ah, they are excellent. Very good. That's a start. Enemy signals. Go harvest those parts. Oh, there's another one. Oh, my goodness. See in there. Oh. Let's load again. <sighs> I did not expect the other drone there. But that's kind of great, though. We can keep picking up, like, uranium and stuff. Wait, what? Say what? Oh, it saved it right there? No way. Is there like an auto save? Must have been. Hello, Mr. Kaba. Hello. Mm -hmm. This might be right where I was. Down low got me, dude. That's a while. Fig. 
fig newtons. I love it. I think that one's still kind of active. Love it. It's gotta be gone, right? So annoying that they do that. I don't want to take any damage. I'm a bitch. <laughs> uh, he says, off topic, solar panels face which direction and rust? Uh, s northeast, southwest. So everybody says, hey, Jay, good job on the last Rust update video. It says, good stuff. It says, ready for custom service in PS5. Me too. Me too.
Come on, get it. Not good, I didn't know I was going in that close. <laughs> Jonathan covers his thanks. No problem. Yeah, it's uh, northeast and southwest. Northeast for the morning, southwest for the uh, afternoon. Some people are like, yeah, you can put them in the front, but the thing is you won't have coverage for a good chunk of the day then. So, like, the idea is that you want to have as much coverage during the sun time, daytime, daylight, before nighttime, because you only want it to black out for, like, 10 minutes, which is nighttime. Now, you'll have some variations, obviously, as the day, you know, the sun sets and rises, but you'll have a consistent amount of power, unlike wind turbines. So there is bullet trap, okay. Good to know. Uranium, here we come. Let's do that distance shot. Uh.
Judas. Says, is this coming to console? It's on Xbox right now, and it's coming to PlayStation uh, Thursday. And if you're thinking about buying it, I would say use the code. And that way it'll help support the channel. And it's not going to cost you anything extra. Yeah. Should be a code in the description as well. If you're in the market, if you're not, that's fine too. Fucker. I'll try this like one more time and then we probably got a raps rapski. I'm obsessed. Uh. Probably just gotta make some better point defense stuff and we'll be good to go. But I didn't know like drones were dropping in from the sky though. That's a whoops. And the worst. Says, my electrician was arguing with me about it. It says, he was right, lol. Well, it's like, it's not, yeah, it's, uh, the thing about it is, it's not, it doesn't go after, like, real life. It's like this weird in-between. Put me a coach. I just want to get inside. You son of a bitch. <laughs> I think just like appears. Ah, oh, it's so annoying. I'm being a little bitch about it, huh? Oh 
Oh my goodness, he touched me. I want to get inside this thing. We're getting inside. If it's the last thing we do. Strafing the ore facility. You're right. I don't want it to say like that. You're right. I'm not that reckless. We'll call this one Rush. I'm going to be such a little bitch about it. Rudd. I'm the worst. Nuclear reactor. Ooh. -hoo -hoo. You got me good. You got me real good. Okay. I'll tell you what. Um, we'll probably end it here for now. Uh, we'll be sprinkling in some space engineers as this is coming to beta on Thursday for PlayStation. It's already available on the Xbox and the PC. If you're looking to buy it or, and you're already in the market, consider using my link. It'll help support the channel. It's both in the description. It's also at the top center of the screen. Um, yeah, dude. This game's this game's dope, especially if you like things like Minecraft. I'm a fan. We'll go park this thing over there. Oh no! <gasps> Mark. Oh my goodness. <laughs> be sure to drop a like and a subscribe if you think it's something you'd like to watch in the future. We'll be doing a lot of Rust this week and also some Space Engineers as well. And uh, yeah, it should be a good time. Hopefully we can get a nice little uh, base going. I think this will be the map we kind of play off of. Because I like this idea of like all these like computer units coming at us and stuff, like waves. It's going to be fun. Okay, guys, appreciate you. We'll see you in the next one. Love you. Bye. Good evening.